And today I've decided to change the uh, layout of the TiVo Tarantula. I've had it for a while now and I've actually put an LCD screen on the top here sitting on the brackets that I printed out. Well I'm going to remove that. Uh, I'm going to take away the um, main controller box from here and pop it in this a little printed box that I've made. Now this one can take a, um, a Raspberry Pi, a version 2 or a version 3, um, depending on how you've printed it out. This is for actually a Raspberry Pi 2. Um, and uh, reconfigure everything in here and hopefully make it a little bit neater than um, what the actual layout is at the moment. So let's uh, see what happens. Now I've already unbolted the LCD screen. These little arms, they just uh, pop on so they come off quite easy. So as you can see that's not a not an issue. Uh, now to hop into this and uh, see what we can do here. I sort of had a few issues with the power supply down the bottom. That's connected to the power supply so I now should be able to get to it uh, a lot easier and uh, fix the problem I've been meaning to do for a long time. And all we have to do is just simply unbolt the little bolts we got here, which are not a, not a problem. I haven't done mine up very tight. I've left them fairly loose because I always intended to do this modification that I'm about to do. So now These are just simply bolted in on the back. Uh, anyone who's put the TiVo uh, to, uh, tarantula together would already know that so there's not much point in me showing you how to sort of disassemble this uh, part of the uh, unit um, because it comes in the instructions and you're putting it together whereas I'm taking it apart so reverse the instructions and you'll follow exactly what I'm doing as you can see it um, just simply bolts in I've just used this the little stays that were in the original um, TiVo kit and all I've done is just simply um, pop them in and I'll just put one little bolt over the top here I'll be doing the same with the other and it just fits in there nicely and uh, we'll see how we go, we'll uh, keep going I'm now fitting um, the fan in there so that's a uh, spare one that I had laying around it just happens to fit perfectly this particular pattern on the side yeah I had some um, M3 by 25 bolts which I've popped through and we've put the uh, new fan in position so so far so good as they say to make it a bit easier for myself I've actually uh, labelled all the cables so I know where everything goes onto the board just makes it that much uh, easier when I'm reassembling I don't have to trace wires back to see where they come from just makes it a little bit uh, easier uh, for reassembling now, right from the beginning uh, when I was assembling the TiVo, I've had trouble with the power supply. I've never been able to get the connector to tighten up properly. And if you have a good look at that, you'll see in the middle there, there's a piece of metal missing across the middle. That's why I couldn't tighten that up. So I've just been sitting it in there, jamming it in tight and uh, getting it to work, which is not ideal. So I'm now going to solder the cable down to the bottom here and uh, that'll fix my problem. I've now got the um, power supply leads soldered on so they're not going anywhere they should sit there quite nicely for me now and that will eliminate the problem I've been having with uh, intermittent failure in power it's starting to get quite dark outside so it looks like we might be in for a bit of rain here uh, the wiring inside a bit hard to see um, everything fits in there quite nicely and uh, yeah, I'll fire it up in a sec and we'll see how it goes. Okay, I've got uh, everything wired up now. I think that looks a little bit neater than the original TiVo that I had. 